Hello everyone, welcome again to another toy review by the Nascent Toy Collector presented by Infinite Collectibles. I'm Adam Martin and today I am excited to bring forth a figure that, well, actually it's a group of figures that have finally lost their Walmart exclusivity and so we've been able to order them at Infinite Collectibles and that is none other than the best of TMNT series that's been done by Best Action. These things are awesome. Um, they have that awesome cover. Like they did, IDW did comic books like this with these covers by James Biggie. Uh, really cool stuff. And uh, I'm going to be comparing these to these, the normal best action figures, to see what's the deal. Why did they even do this? They have some of the best presenting boxes I've ever seen. Are they worth the money? Could they? Is there a place for them in your display? You see, I have my best action turtles right there. We're going to be taking a look at them side by side and decide if... At the end of the day, they're worth your hard-earned cash. Let's take a look at those boxes. So yeah, I mean, this packaging alone, I feel like, is worth the price of admission. Now, they are $29.99 each. That's our discount down at Infinite. Um, if we don't have them in stock, guys, we can order them. So do not be afraid to ask. You can also get them at Walmart. Like I said, they were exclusive to Walmart. Uh, I don't know if they're all available currently or what, but I know they are to us at the moment. So if this wasn't worth the price of admission on its own, right? Just based on the front covers of them, which are covers of comic books that I absolutely want to get framed. IDW books, amazing, okay? The comics representing the best of these characters individually, awesome stuff. Um, if this wasn't enough, right, because this is some of the coolest imagery I've ever seen. Very plain, very basic, but very stylized and simple. By James Biggie, each each cover has Biggie on it there. Man, I mean, if these don't grab you, I don't know what will. Maybe this. When you turn them to the side, okay, they each feature, they each feature the signature weapon of the turtles. I mean, you got the red one with the sai, purple one with the bow staff, orange one with the nunchuck, and of course, I've already looked at Leo, but... Man, is that, I mean, if if that doesn't do it for you, I can't help you. So let's start with the packaging. Uh, obviously, I've already, I mean, I can't, I can go on and on and on about just how cool this is, but let's look at it. Uh, window box shows you the figure inside. Really sweet. It is the exact same basic figure as what we've already got from Best Action, but we'll go over those details and the subtle differences in just a moment. Here you get what's inside, comic book, figure, featuring the classic uh, all red bandanas, uh, 31 points of articulation, multiple accessories. The back of the box, you get the picture of the figure there. It looks like, I'm, I'm sure it's a digital render, but it looks pretty good. Shows you what accessories they come with. Uh, tells you a little bit of the background. Tells you their weapon of choice. Has the classic TMNT logo from the old comics. Um, you got Nickelodeon down here, some legal stuff, loyal subjects logo there. On the bottom, you get the barcode. Made in China, you know, probably something about not choking on everything. On that side, you get TMNT Best of Donatello. Rad. They all say that, too. Best of Michelangelo, Best of Leonardo, Best of Raphael. Uh, just super packaging and exactly the kind that you just want to tear into. So let's do that now. Packaging. Packaging. So there they are, all out of the package. And you may be asking yourself, well, so what's the big deal? What's I've seen the best action turtles, Adam. You've reviewed them before. Well, that is true. But so let's go over the very subtle, the very real differences between these and what's come before. All right, so here they are side by side. And for the purpose of this video, okay, I'm going to refer to this one as Archie. I'm going to refer to these as Mirage. And I feel like the reason for that should be fairly obvious these color schemes are to me i think one of the better features of both of these figures and to me the more toony version looks archy because of the skin tones and as you can see with this mirage release they have subtly different skin tones now articulation uh and everything accessories it's all the same but at the root of it, 
you can see we have the eyeballs, we have the colored masks, and then we have the red, all red matching masks and the skin tone color differences. So it's a pretty interesting debate. Should you add these to your collection or not? And for me, the answer was yes. Let's take a closer look though. So right here with Leo, right out the gate, you get, this is the Mirage version. This is the Tune ver or Archie version. And you can see the difference in the swords. Like this one over here is painted more realistically. It has like a metal color to it. Looks pretty rad. Uh, the handle looks more realistic. And this one is kind of like white and has a gold hilt and you know, the pommel's different. And you know, you kind of get the sense that the Mirage version is a little more realistic. Just even with the accessories. With the skin tones noted, you can also see the shells are darker on the Mirage version. These are way more light, you know, more green. These are more brown, which is cool, way more turtly. Of course, the colorations are all gone from the arm pads, the elbow pads. Now, I will say this, and this is just best action for you. When I was popping the different hands in, I completely lost that sweatband. I don't know where it went. You can see he's supposed to have a wristband that's brown. I have no idea where that one went. I lost it somewhere on my floor. I have a brown rug that's very much the same color. So it's almost impossible to find. Now you can also see the difference in the belts. So instead of constructing new belts, what they did was just kind of take this Archie version and kind of not point out so much with paint that it has a big R on it. Now they also colored them differently. As you can see, it's a darker, that's a darker brown. The R is not uh, as prominent. It's there, but it's not as, you know, popping out at you. It's not colored, it's, it's not painted in like this one is. Uh, but there again, you can see that skin tone's totally different. The shell's a different color. Um, and this is Raph, of course, with Raph. Now both of them have the same issue. Neither of them could hold the size worth the dam. Uh, as you can see, bloop, 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 and then bloop, bloop, bloop. Both are weak as shit. I noted, I noted that in my previous review of the uh, Best Action Turtles. Uh, they did not fix that with this. This is exactly the same sculpt. It has the exact same variant heads. I don't, I don't have the, I, I actually chose to put the other heads on the Mirage versions just so you could see the other heads on them. But everything else is exactly the same. So at the end of the day, the question is, is this different enough is the Mirage version different enough from the Archie version to warrant a purchase? For me, the answer was yes. And Mikey is one of the best examples of that. Okay, you can see how different the weapons are done. See, these are very cartoony. These are very much like realistic. And that's me doing the air quotes. But what I like about the Mirage Mikey, it's not necessarily a Mirage thing, but it's that he has that greenish blue coloration like he had with the original 87 action figure. And I think it's an interesting mix. For me, these Mirage Turtles are an interesting mix of 87 cartoon, or not, not 87 cartoon, but 87 toys and Mirage Studios. So they end up for me being just slightly like grittier, as you can see with Raph there. I mean, it's just a awesome, color difference. I mean, it's subtle, right? But it's there. And you get the all red version, which I love. I love the all reds. I mean, I get it. You can, you know, some people say you can't tell them apart. I can always tell them apart by their weapons. Uh, and of course with these, they have that sublimated uh, <laughs> same belt. So, you know, if you need help, you have that on top of the weapons if you, if you, if you need it. For me, it was a no brainer, guys. It was a must. So, I had to have them. I mean, yeah, they're they're just you know what at the end of the day they're just best action figures, uh, but I dig their articulation and I like the way they look and they look really good on my shelf. So let's take a look at them all together here to get a really good sense of what I'm talking about. you see them all together there, you can really see their differences. I love the Mirage versions because I love the fact that they're all wearing red. I love that Daredevil callback. You know, they're all, they all were formed in the, the creation of Daredevil. They're all from his origin story. 
It's way cheaper than the 2008 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive NECA four pack of them uh, uh, in all red. And honestly, I like it. I think there's a lot of bang for the buck. There's enough difference and it may be subtle, but I'm a collector and maybe you are too. The difference is subtle. The difference is, so the difference is expressed enough that I think that it's warranted to have both sets of these figures. So that's my opinion, you guys. I think they look great together. Uh, <laughs> I love the colors of the the uh, the Mirage Turtles. I think they look fantastic. Uh, but so, yeah. And, you know, I'm going to keep collecting. I mean, they have more coming out. I can't wait to see what they're doing. I'm definitely excited for the new Best Action Turtles that are based on the IDW comic series. I'll definitely be picking those up. So, hey, keep giving me turtles, you guys. Keep giving me turtles. Keep on bringing them on. You guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please hit like, hit subscribe, tune into Nascent Toy Collector and Infinite Collectibles for way more awesome stuff. Be sure to check us out on Facebook.com. We are at Infinite Paducah. And uh, if you like these figures or you want anything you like from us, please feel free to hit us up on Facebook and let us know you'd like to order something. We can have it shipped to you and it'll be no problem at all. So we'll see you free comic book day, hopefully. Have a great week. As always, keep it geek. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.